One of the questions that we often get is why do we need a long and a short body? And a quick answer is if you were trying to measure head space with loaded ammunition, the short body is simply just too short and the bullet would hit your dial calipers. In that case, we would take the insert out, put it in a long body, and now we've got enough clearance inside to where when we check the headspace of loaded ammunition, we've got clearance for your calipers and you're not gonna have any type of contact. One unique feature of the Modular Headspace Comparator body is there's actually two ways you can mount it on your dial caliper. You'll notice that there's a small C, which stands for centered, and an O, which stands for offset. And that's indicated by what side your thumb screw is on. So right now it's on the C side, which means centered. And what that is gonna do is it's going to perfectly center the insert on the dial caliper. And that's how you're typically gonna run it. In the case though, that you're gonna use something like a overall length tool, just like this, this slot is not centered. Therefore, you would set the thumb screw on the O side, which stands for offset. We're going to clamp that in our dial caliper. And you can see right here that it's not centered up on there. It's offset on the insert. That's actually what you need when using one of these tools. That will get this whole assembly perfectly straight and centered. So that way you can take accurate and consistent measurements. One cool feature of our modular headspace comparator tray is we machined little counter bores in the bottom of each hole. Let me show you why we did that. Is I will take a piece of brass and I will fire it multiple times in a chamber to find out what my actual headspace is of my rifle. Once I have that, I keep that as a master headspace gauge and I will put it with my headspace comparator insert. For my 8.6 blackout, I've done the same thing as well as my 223 Remington. So I will keep all of my master brass along with my headspace comparators in the kit. One of the more common questions we get is why is there play between the insert and the body when the assembly is together? And there's actually a very specific reason why it's exactly how it is. And that's because I wanted a quick toolless install and removal of the inserts from the body. But more importantly, if this was locked up tight with the O-ring, the O-ring would be under pressure and you would not get simple, easy, metal to metal contact when you use it. You would be always battling the compression of the O-ring and it would be spongy and you would get inconsistent results. With having play in here, we ensure that the angles of the body and the insert are fully contacted and not under any influence of an O-ring or anything else. So this way actually gives you more consistent and more accurate measurements. Hey everyone, this is Mark at Short Action Customs. In this video, I wanna talk about how to properly select the appropriate headspace comparator for measuring your headspace. The first thing you need to do is determine what caliber and what shoulder angle you're trying to measure. This is a 30 cal by 20 degree, and that's mainly for a 308 Winchester. However, you can use this on smaller calibers like a 243 Winchester, 260 Remington, seven millimeter 08. One exception is with our six millimeter by 40, it also calls out a neck diameter on there. This one here is a six millimeter by 40 with a 273 neck. This one is a six millimeter by 40 with a 275 neck. The reason why we have two different versions is because with this type of cartridge, people are typically taking 6BR and fireforming it into 6-dasher or 6BRA. Therefore, the neck diameter is critical for being able to get consistent and accurate measurements if you're using BR brass and then you're measuring your fireformed brass. Both of these inserts will allow you to measure the virgin unformed brass in the fire formed brass and have an extremely accurate measurement that's within a thousands. One of the common questions we have with our modular headspace comparator is, people ask why do they get a different reading when they push really hard on the calipers versus when they push with a nice soft gentle pressure. And that's a very common thing with any type of precision measuring instrument. That's why on measuring equipment like outside micrometers, 
there's actually a little clutch that's spring-loaded. This helps you put a minimal amount of pressure, which increases the consistency and accuracy of your measurement. So when using your modular headspace comparator, you shouldn't need to use a lot of pressure. Simply rotate your insert in the body, your cartridge or bullet will settle in and square up. And just with simple, basic pressure, you should have everything you need to get a nice, accurate, consistent measurement.